Can we use the pliers on this? <gasps> oh, oh. Fron! The poor man! Hi, guys, and welcome to another episode of Fran Bo. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Dern took us to the cemetery. <laughs> Unwillingly. Um, well, with us being unwilling. And Mr. Midnight is not with us. He disappeared in the house. He was supposed to open the door to Aunt Grace's home, but apparently Aunt Grace wasn't there. And Mr. Midnight was taking his sweet ass time to open the door. <laughs> but uh, now we have to go apparently find a shovel to dig up what seems to be um, our grave. But anyways, let's go ahead and adventure on and see what we find. Oh yeah, that's right. And we don't have any pills either, which is crazy to me. What is, I want to, no name, no flowers. Maybe no, nobody is down there. I guess that, or it could just be an unmarked grave and somebody is there, but they couldn't I identify them, Fran. That could be a possibility too. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Right. Well, there must be a way to open it. Let's check the other side. <laughs> oh, oh. Haven't you rested enough already? Frond, they're, they're dead. Like, they can't move. Just because you, like, technically died, like, two or three times doesn't mean that they can come back up to life, Ron. <laughs> I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? Hope to God it's a little bug. Oh. Martin Bo, father, 24-6-1901 to 21-7-1944. Lucia Bo, dog and hearts, mother... 13 to 1905 to 21 7 1944. Fran de Beau Dagenhart, a daughter. 17 12 1934 to 22 7 1944. So they both died on the same day, and then Fran is suspected to have died the day after. Little candle, keep my parents warm. A rose, is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? Fran. <laughs> oh, lovely little bear. You must take care of my parents. Interesting. If that is important somehow, I'm gonna forget. 100%. <laughs> oh, we can drive. We can drive, right? Or not. A oh, crowbar. I hope the, the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Or we could just drive the car. I've never touched a steering wheel before. Father never allowed that. I am allowing you that right now, Fran. <laughs> you can go ahead and do that right now. Hmm, the gearbox. I wonder if it has little secrets inside. Right. Anything? The car seats are quite comfortable. Anything else? It can't be good to press all the buttons. Sometimes, Fran, in most cases, it is good to press all the buttons. Wow! Hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? I think she's praying. Okay, a Franz's sense of things, of what things are doing, is very skewed. <laughs> I have concerns. Let's see if a crowbar on the door. Did it work? Oh! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. Yeah, hello. Are you related to the ones I fucked with earlier? What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Don't be scared. I'm fine. Oh, please. Don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. Um, I have big eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. Tr tribe's collector? The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. 
right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. What? You're gonna make more of you? <laughs> what? We need it for the mating ritual. Leather? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. Um, did you... Uh, old human skin? What do you use it for? So, we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope I can... I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant missus. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss. But where will I ever find that? Huh. All right. I'll see what I can do. I like how Fran tried to swindle him too. Like, I can't find your leather, but you could open that door for me though. <laughs> God. Um, examine the kitty. Wow, it opened. Is that a keyhole? Oh, that is a keyhole. I wonder what would happen if I find the key. Soft and nice. Feels like Mr. Midnight had a baby. All right. Um, find leather somehow. Ooh, the grave. Okay. Um... All right, the grave is not doing anything. A tree, maybe? No. Use the crowbar on the statue? I can't do that. Okay, Fraud, we're gonna have to do some- Oh, wait, wait, the car! Dr. Dern, I'm gonna borrow your leather seats for a quick second. The car seats are quite comfortable. Quite comfortable enough for me to use a knife to get some leather. Oh! <laughs> Whoops, what a big hole I made. It's okay, Fran. <laughs> we need to get the fuck inside that shed. <laughs> All right. Here you go, friend. Ew. Enjoy your leather for your mating, however you do it. Wow, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pine Pinesless, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, are you okay? Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian, did he die? Sebastian? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, how the hell are you gonna die from opening a door? <laughs> I'm I'm all right, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio. Fabio, where are you going? Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. All right, you go on, Mr. Pinecone Man. All right, Fran, let's get this. Huh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Um, Fran! Are you sure? I can't dig with a broom. I mean, you kinda can. It'll take forever, but you can brush the dirt away. Oh, you found the shovel, Dr. Dern. How convenient. There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. You know, like, I never actually fully developed Dr. Dern's, like, voice. <laughs> His voice keeps changing every time. I don't know what the fuck to give him. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy, are you down there? I'll see you soon. Yeah, you'll see them dead right um oh 
okay, the shovel was in my inventory. I didn't realize. Okay, yes, dig, dig, dig the grave of Dr. Dern. Ooh, what did we find? Ooh. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. <clears throat> They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. <laughs> I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir, I'll open them. Let's open up the coffins, Fran. Coffin number one. Uh, the coffins can't be open. The lids are stuck. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, crowbar. Coffin number one. Oh! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, <laughs> coffin number two. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Woo, I'm not in the coffin, great. <clears throat> Is that Mr. Midnight, though? Actually, no, 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 it has fangs. Those fangs are pretty large for a cat. I don't know. Oh my goodness, father, the deadly worms took your eyes. You sure it's not decomposition that took his eyes from? And a coffin number three. Hi, mommy dearest, how are you? Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. Fran, she's dead. What is up with these responses? <laughs> Fran! Your parents are dead in the grave! Oh. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad, bad doing this, oh. seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Let's go. All right, thank you, Dr. Dern. Yeah, let's let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh! Remor! What did you do to Dr. Dern? Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Wait, Fran! <laughs> you broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. Where are you taking us? If you want to find those you love. In darkness, you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness Wait! Wait! On Grace! Wait! Why are we chained? On Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please, give me a hug. Soon, my darling. 
And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining fron. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining fron. Go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Bitch! Untie us now! <laughs> Unchain us! Oh no, don't leave me here! Aunt Grace, come back, please! Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Um. Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there is another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Oh, 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 wait! Are we gonna start, like, jumping realities? Ooh, Fran, I think that's the biggest brain shit you ever said this entire goddamn series. <laughs> Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. Right, what, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. That looks... Kitty looks very disturbing, Fran. All right, what else? My dollhouse. Aw, so many lovely memories. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. Oh my god, that is so creepy. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Oh! Fran! Is that... Little Fron! <laughs> and the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa! You are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Edward already? He always talks about that. Oh, shit. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it, the only way you cross into alter reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? Yes, Fran, I think 100% you're dead. Like there's no goddamn way your ass crashed, literally crashed, and then you get up willy-nilly, I'm fine. <laughs> like there's no fucking way. 
No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty! You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I get a play baby friend! <laughs> and I got red heels and everything. I got the pearls. What? Ooh, yes! <laughs> Let me see, what is this? Oh, sweet, sweet Melody. You, you are you for sure with those responses. <laughs> oh, oh, various keys, thank you. Oh, my key collection. I hope I can unlock the other front now. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. Oh, Itward! Oh, and Palantras! Hello! I drew this after my journey with Itward and Palantras. Interest. Oh. You have a straight jacket, miss? Ah, uh, that jacket. Oh, my yellow dress is pretty. Did you do bad things? Why would the doll do bad things? Some of my clothing to make shows. Right. One blue blanket and one white. Okay. That is an angry looking baby. <laughs> You're too upset. Would you like to talk? Hello, Dr. Oswald. Dr. Oswald? Interesting. I like how things are starting to come together slowly. All right, so let's use this on the chains. Let's see which key. Oh, interesting. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. Wait, wait. This one. Uh, it won't fit. Let's try another one. This one. Aha, unlocked. <laughs> We're free now. Big Fron. Thank you so much, Fron. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it would help you open something. The little golden box? Oh, 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 ooh, wait. Palantras, you know him too. Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we meet, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Yeah, ready for what? Oh, no. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Hello? How long have we been in this place? Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Does she not see me? <clears throat> I guess she doesn't see, see, see me. No, don't go! L little Fran! We have stuff to talk about! That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Right, okay, um, the more and more I'm thinking about this, like, logically, um, I'm thinking that Fran is imagining all of this shit in her head, and she's just, like, really fucked up <laughs> in the head right now. I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore in this story. 
All right, examine. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right, and I go ahead and take my pen so I can get the code right. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, I press it by the ears first, two to the left, and then one to the right. I rub its only eye two times. Okay, I two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Oh, once by the left ear. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Okay, and then I. All right, interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and examine. <laughs> okay, so two, two to the left. Can I? Isn't it this? Oh, oh, ears, ears. Oh, I see it now. I see. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it pressing? Okay, right, left. Okay, ear. One, two. One, then I two, then ear, and then I. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. Yes, you are. Ooh, wait, what is this? Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's the key to the cat. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mabuka, Mabuka. Oh my God, are we, why are we summoning? Are we summoning Mabuka? The E-Cog clock? Mabuka, Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the lights. The Velakas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the lights. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the lights, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my hearts. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. <clears throat> right, so one empty case, a working light bulb, wake up clock, a bottle with water, soap a bar, one glove, black wire, and piano key. So I'm assuming I need to collect all of these and make this contraption. Very interesting. I think I must wake up Mabuka. <clears throat> Fran, do you remember what Mabuka looks like? Remember? <laughs> Fran, you want this bitch to be awake? Mabuka, do you? Oh my God, this is actually happening. Okay, yeah, combine. What do you mean it, it can't be done? Yes. Do you have a secret in your tummy, cat? Yes, it it it, it does. We have the the key combined with the cat. <clears throat> what do you mean? That's the key for the thing. Look at it. It's all gold and fancy and shit. It has a and the key has a cat icon. Do you have a secret in your tummy, Mr. Cat? Yes, and look at the cat key. A key shaped like a cat, so pretty, yeah, so pretty, so shiny. Combine it with the actual cat. All right, so let's go ahead and get what we need and explore. But we somehow need to wake up Mabuka. I don't know how the fuck we're gonna do that, but we're gonna wake up Mabuka. I don't remember having the door removed. Mm-mm. Let's see. Soap bar, glove, black wire. I'm just gonna click on things. Um, Just a regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. Oh yes, interesting. My lovely peach dress for sunny days. The coat for when it's windy and cold. The summer dress, it has a big button. Do I need a button? No, I don't. But can I use the knife to take the button? Oh! A big pink button from my summer dress, yes! <laughs> Lots of candy in the jar. My summer hat, it doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. Interesting. Ew, it has cat hair all, all over it. I won't lick it. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight's. Ooh, yes, a lunchbox, ooh. Can we examine? 
<laughs> my school case. Empty case. Okay, so that's the case. Okay, empty case. All right. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. Ooh, balloons. All right. Balloons in so many colors. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Who is that Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> Who are you? Aw, uh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> of course you would be friends with her. Oh boy. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. I bet she does, Fran. I love that little reference in there. I love that so much. <laughs> Yep, nothing else. Nope, just shoes. These make me think of the great dancer in Athirsta. Oh, those shoes, yeah. Yeah, it, it sure does. Coincidentally so. Coincidentally so. So is this all in Franz's head? Cause everything here is the things we've seen. <laughs> just metaphorically. Wait, what? Oh boy. Why can I move things? Oh boy, okay. Um. Oh wow, interesting. I wonder if I can guess it right. Oh, wait. Aha! Is something back there? Yes, it is. I just noticed that. I won't even try. Front, there is something back there. Oh, okay. I feel the texture. Yes, yes, yes. Um. What could it be? Um, we, we rip it more. Oh, yes. Aha, a key. I bet this can unlock something. Yes, it can. Combine it. Wait, no, no, no. Com combine. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Okay, that's what all this was for? Okay. Or not. Okay, I got the... I'm gonna keep this little piano to play lovely melody... Oh, that was a little piano we needed. This is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. Interesting. This one is Albert, and he likes r relative things. I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. That's not... <laughs> Your dad must have been pissed. I'll be pissed. I don't need matches right now. I'll just leave them there. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad. My mother drew this flower for me. Okay, anything else that I can use in this house? No. I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouse. Fraun! Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, what's here? Crayons, lady gnome, teddy, ballerina. Yes, all in one place. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Um. Hello? Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. You seen a black cat? <laughs> Hello, have you seen a black cat? N no. I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Are you alright? <laughs> eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once, all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. We'll see what we can do. Because we need to somehow find some water. Wow, things have changed a little bit. A little bit, Fran. This is more than a little bit. Uh, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, that's where we are. Imagine X. Oh, I love this comic. Is that how you develop your imaginary thoughts? My slippers. I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. Right. Oh, look at the 
picture. That's so cute. <laughs> That's adorable. Are really none of the keys going to work? Or do I combine both keys? Okay. Do you have a secret to your tummy, Mr. Cat? Oh. Ooh, I feel so dumb, dumb. <laughs> I feel so dumb. God, okay, okay, okay. I forgot, I forgot. I forgot Frambo mechanics. My bad. <laughs> That's me forgetting Frambo mechanics. No, I'm supposed to be on this screen to use the key. Yes, use. Use Palantra's key, yes, with the cat. Okay, so I was right. I was just being dumb about it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, we have a very cute kitty door. <laughs> Let's go inside. Oh, interesting. Oh my God. Wait, Fran, is that your eye? Hello? What a big eye. What are you looking at? She's looking at us. That, that That's us, Fran. Huh, a key to unlock things that are locked. Yes, Fran, that's what keys are for. Ooh, okay. Um, I guess I determined what key is what, so... Oh, I guess right. Okay. <laughs> now, is this key used for anything else? Are all the keys just... just Either I coincidentally got the right keys, or I was just supposed to pick... I can pick any door to use with the keys. Oh, thank you. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are so many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? I'm Fran, nice to meet you. Fran Bo, the crazy bitch. <laughs> Well, I'm Fran, <laughs> the crazy bitch. <laughs> nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? Remember Mabuka, the, the bitch in the book that takes out all lights? Mama Mabuka? <laughs> you don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now, just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't... I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of lights. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth, re fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Yep, we're gonna get his fucking key, Fran. You are right. Damn. <laughs> oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh, ooh, can we use this? Nope. Can we use this? Haha. -ha. Okay, I don't have what I need. Okay. Key inside the little house. Thank you, pocket coat. Oh, a little me a little message in the pockets. Interesting. Is that Edward's hat? Edward forgot his hat. Oh, or maybe the hat forgot its head. You are one little wild, wild person, Fran. Oh. Five, three, seven, eight, nine, zero, five, five, two, one, pound. I don't know. <laughs> Was there? No, I don't have anything for a number. Oh my god. Um. Hello?
does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want the soap, sir. <laughs> That's all I want. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rot all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a, a little while. All right, then. Take it. It's all yours. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I won't even try that. Okay, Fran. Let's go. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, let's just go to the next door. Oh, wait, 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 the peak chores. I see eyes. Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. Okay, never mind. I thought the eyes would signify something. Right, okay, speaking of eyes, hello. Wow. Does that do anything? Intruder! Infiltrator! Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Akula, the Eye from Beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can you see my cats? <laughs> everything? Can you see my cats? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal, queen, princess? Uh, we're friends. We are best friends. No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. I was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka on... Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend, Mr. Midnight! I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Yeah, bitch, we're not afraid of her, apparently. <laughs> well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. My, I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. All right, thank you, Okula. A golden snail. Yes, a golden snail. Can we crack open? Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah. A brush to brush hair. Yes, yes, yes. Examine. Soap bar, piano keys, and I need other things. The eyes are looking around. Huh, this mirror is transparent. Interesting. So what does this do? Oh, the light bulbs! Interesting. Ooh, great, I got the light bulb now. Interesting. So what happens if it was on? Would it be too hot? I don't want to touch it again. Okay, I'm assuming it would have been too hot to the touch, so I had to turn it off. Interesting, okay. What is this? I saw this painting somewhere. We should be able to walk. Ooh, we should be able to walk through it and we're on this side, what? Okay. I may need this wire in the near future. Yes, examine. Ooh, we're doing good getting the ingredients to summon the great Mabuka. <laughs> so I need a wake-up clock, a bottle with water, and one glove. 
I think I must make a wake up Mabuka. Yeah, yeah, you think we we, we gotta wake up Mabuka. This bottle is perfect. I'll take it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Oh, I think I disconnected the machine. It has no power now. It says insert a button. Oh, I have a button. Bam! And there goes my button. Now what? Okay, um. Wait, 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 wait. Let's. Can we go back? Uh, use this. Yeah, yeah, plug it back in. <laughs> That's not a key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. We got pliers. That's cool. Are you going to give me anything else? Oh, you garbage. Paper swirls, just like in a Thursday. <laughs> Hello, happy monkey. That's it. Apparently, that's the key to 103. So let me just open this. All right. Thank you for your contributions. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, can I use the pliers with this to crack it? No? All right. Let's go, Fran. Ooh, 103. Apparently, I need the pliers for this. Hmm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Door 103. Ew, it's all bloody. No, but the thing said 103. Um... Give me water from your tears. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, can I use soap? Okay. Let's go back here. Can we use the pliers on this? Oh, oh. Fron! The poor man! And she's okay with it. All right, shiny little key, bitch. <laughs> Look, Fran told you she was gonna find a way. Don't underestimate this bitch. Use the key on one to three. I can't unlock the door. This is the wrong key. Oh, oh okay, 102. You know what, you're right. I think it was 102. My bad, Fran. Hi, kitty. Oh, and your eyes move. Okay. Hi, kitty. A wake-up clock. Perfect. Can I use... Okay, thank you for your clock. I got you, little wake-up clock. The fuck? Wow, what a big cat. The back of a giant cat. This must be for something important. Okay, but what do I put in there? I need a bottle of water and one glove. Okay. Oh! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All I need is a bottle of water, right? Yeah, just a bottle of water. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Is this gonna give us water? Oh my god. Are you the hair tree? Oh my god. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. Let me take the key, please. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Are you stuck? Because I have a hairbrush that can help you get unstuck. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Right, okay. Um, use a brush on the tree. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't that great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Do you want to try it? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. 
Is it dangerous? Look, Fran got the good drugs, all right? <laughs> Look, this shit will make you feel so good, trust me. <laughs> it can be very pleasant. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle, and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, how cute, Fran. Oh, you brushing the uh, demonic looking hair. It worked. What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You are a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. All right, bye-bye, Luciferns. You guys are creepy as hell in this reality. It were, did say that too. That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it. Can we, can we grab it somehow? But I can't reach it from here. What to do? Yeah, you can't reach it from here. What to do? Um, I can't go on the tree branches or anything. Let me see. Kitty. Mr. Kitty Cat. <laughs> I need help. Wait a minute. Oh, does this make the thingy? Interesting. All right, I just need water. So let's go back to the bathtubby guy. All right, use... Sure, bath boy. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Oh, turn on the water. Duh. I turn on the water, and we use with the water. Ooh, I fill the bottle with water. La la la. <laughs> la la la. Now let's help our buddy first outside, because he needed help. Hello, friends. Use on the Kamalas. Negative. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, combine. Ha ha. All right. Use on the Kamalas. Oh goodness, I missed. Fron! Okay, use on the Kamala. Oh, almost. Fron, you need to aim better. Thank you. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Bye-bye. Wow. I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Oh, we got a branch to take the key! There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. All right, bye-bye, you sweet tree. Thank you. All right, and then use the branch on the key. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go down. Going down, down. All right. And then we put the bottle of water into the cat. That is the last ingredient. Thank you, cat. Wow, what a big cat with a big ass mouth. Thank you. Right. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. The ECOG clock, it's finished. Yes, it is. It is finished. And you know what else is finished? This episode, because we ran out of time. <laughs> But thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me. I really, really appreciated it. But we got a lot done. We're gonna summon Mabuka, apparently, and I'm terrified of that shit. This whole entire world is just fucking weird. So we're, uh, I guess we're in the fifth reality now, but this place is fucking weird. We have this stupid ass frond eye that keeps staring at us. <laughs> 
<laughs> and like, I don't even know what to expect after we summon Mabuka, like. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.